Remington Arms says it's a misfire. We're out of ammo. Let's load up and get the hell out while we can. I'm the veteran biker. Facts over feelings. I don't care how you feel. I want you to know the truth. Sit down. This is where patriots watch YouTube. Wouldn't there be many companies who would not want to do business or loan money to people like yourself or investors if they know that they can get away with fraud and there's no recourse to protect them? This is not about Donald Trump. This is about freedom. This is about America. This is about the Constitution. Kevin O'Leary, Shark Tank billionaire, refuses to do business in New York. Remington Arms, America's longest firearms maker, says New York, go to hell. We are out. And they're moving to Georgia. Beretta's already moved. Springfield Armory has already moved. They left Massachusetts. They're gone. Businesses are leaving New York. This is not about Donald Trump. This is about freedom, prosperity, ultimately personal choices. And New York, you've done this to yourself. Letitia James, Alvin Bragg, Judge Ingeron, you have done this. And guess what's going to happen when all these businesses leave? There's going to be a void in taxes. That's exactly what's going to happen. You should be ashamed of your damn self. You're destroying New York. New York, you are the new Detroit. Excuse me, what fraud? I don't, I, this is not about Trump anymore. When you get a developer, when you get a developer that builds a building and he says it's worth $400 million and he wants to borrow $200 million from a bank, which happens every day, everywhere on earth, including every American city, every developer is an entrepreneur. They shine the light on their building and they say it's worth 400. The bank does its own due diligence, as was done in this case, because they're very good at it. The banks are very good. And they say, no, it's worth 300. We're only going to loan you 150 million. That haggling has gone on for decades. That's how it works. And then in this case, even the bank that was supposedly defrauded testified and said, we didn't lose anything. We want to do business with this guy again. If the state of New York can go after Donald Trump in a victimless crime, they can specifically go after any other business in the state without a shadow of a doubt. The governor came out and said this was a one-off. Businesses should come back. Have you heard of anyone, any of your friends, saying they're moving to California? Have you heard any of your friends say, hey, I'm moving to New York? I want more control over my life. Me either. I'm moving to California. I have too much excess income, and I want to give it to the illegals. Nobody says that. If they do, check them into a mental institution. If you know anyone that owns a business and says they want to move to California, move to New York, check them in. Get them on some medication and take away some of these things that Springfield, Remington, and Beretta are making. I'm going to read this article to you. The nation's oldest gun maker in the country, oldest in the country, has announced it's leaving its home state of New York for friendly environments. Remington Arms Company, the firearms manufacturing arm of Remington, is leaving, I think it's called Ilion, New York, for LaGrange, Georgia. Hello, Georgia. Georgia on my mind. Rim Arms follows Beretta, Smith & Wesson, and several other smaller companies fleeing restrictive, and here's the key word, political and legislative regimes that have become increasingly hostile to firearms businesses. This is disgusting. Beretta began uh, in 2013. They started leaving whenever there was a lot of anti-pew-pew -pew measures. They said to hell with it, we're out. This should worry anyone that thinks they can have a viable business, a successful business, because the government, because the Department of Justice, because the city of New York, the attorney general, the governor, the mayor, they are all complicit. They're all having meetings behind closed doors. And once they pick you, you're done. Once they choose you, you're done. You're finished. They will take your livelihood. 
and wad it up and throw it away. Or more importantly, they'll give it to the illegal aliens, which is what I firmly believe is going to happen with some of these properties owned by Trump Incorporation or Trump Enterprises. I think that's what's going to happen. Remington Arms, I'm going to salute you. I'm probably going to go buy a couple of your tools today because in my mind, a firearm is a tool and I got a lot of tools. You need a lot of tools in your toolbox, right? I'm probably going to go support you today to give you a little gas money to help you move to Georgia. Georgia, well done. Now all you need to do is get rid of Governor Kemp, get rid of Governor Stacey Abrams. She still thinks that she's the governor there. Get rid of Raffensperger. Fix your, fix your election integrity. I think it's happening in Georgia with this whole exposure of Fannie Willis and Nathan Wades. And I know using the term exposure for Fannie Willis might make most of you sick to your stomach. It does me. She couldn't even put on her dress the right way. But that's what's happening. People are leaving New York. People are leaving California. They're moving to Tennessee. They're moving to Florida. They're moving to Texas. They're moving to Georgia. But here's where the real key is. A lot of people have these light bulb moments. Sanctuary cities are now being forced to be sanctuary cities. Oh my God. Well, that's what you wanted. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. Now, what's happening though is with all of these American voters leaving these shitty cities, say that three times fast, they need to be replaced or these shitty cities lose congressional seats. So what are they doing to replace them? That's right. The great replacement theory is real. They're bringing in all these doctors and lawyers from the southern border. Miguel, Alejandro, Paco. I can't think of any other names. Guillermo. They're bringing all them in to replace them, replace the numbers so they don't lose congressional seats. This is the veteran biker. I'm going to get out of here. I am going to go support Remington today. I might go support Beretta. I might go support Springfield. You know what? It's a good day in America. I went and voted yesterday. Ha <laughs> ha! MAGA baby. I went and voted. And today, I'm going to go express my Second Amendment right. On this channel, I'm an expert on my opinion. And I use my First Amendment right every day. Today, I'm going for my second. You take care. Veteran Bikers out. I'll see you on the road. We'd like to, but the judge said, no, 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 no. Let's penalize this developer for $355 million. And if we're going to do that, let's penalize all the developers all across America. They've all done the same thing. All of them should go to jail and we should stop building buildings. That's what the message is from New York. Even the governor herself is concerned about what this looks like to investors all around the world. It's not just U.S. domestic. All well, around the world, people are talking about what happened here. 